Good morning dear students. Welcome to our English class. Today we are going to learn the new chapter The Milkman's Cow. Once there was a milkman's cow and it was not in a good mood. It sat down on the road and refused to move from there. The milkman begged the cow Please get up from the road. The children are waiting for the milk. They have to grow strong so that they want milk. Please get up. The milkman pleaded the cow. Please get up from the road. We have to go and serve milk to the people. The milkman pulled and pushed the cow with the rope. But the cow was moving on that day anyway along came the policeman policeman got his hand in buckle was gleaming gleaming this shiny and he was twirling his mustache mustache was twirling his mustache he was spinning around the mustache and he said he saw that the cow was sitting on the road he said I will show you how to do it right. He came to the milkman and said, "I will help you." What he did? He pulled and dumped the cow along with the milkman. But the cow wasn't going on that day. He the grasshopper. Grasshopper was having potatoes and peas in his sack, and he was carrying. To his grocery store, the milkman, the grocer, and the policeman pulled the cow and with the force. But the cow wasn't moving on that day anyway. Along came the wrestler. His muscles were gleaming, gleaming which shining in the sun. The wrestler said, "I have the power of ten horses." I, it will be a fun for me to move this cow. Now, the milkman, the policeman, the wrestler, and the grocer all together started to pull the cow and dump the cow. But the cow wasn't going on that day. Along came the ice cream man with his cans, jingling the cow, jingling with bringing the cow. So along came the ice cream man with jingling his cup. He said, "It is very easy for me to move the cup." What he did? He offered an ice cream to the cow and said, "Please cow, move from here." The cow wasn't going on that day anyway. All four of them begged, forcefully tried to move the cow, but the cow was not listening to them. The cow was not moving a single inch. One, the boy was observing all this thing. He came with the chef, that is, bundle of leaves. The cow eats leaves. The cow ate the leaves, and after chewing it, it slowly moved along the roadside. All the people, the milkman, both shouted for the cleverness of the boy. The policeman twirled his stick in the air. The wrestler gave a grind, that is, a smile to the boy, and the grocer clapped for the boy for the cleverness. That means that. We cannot force anybody to do anything. We have to show love and affection for the animals too. We should show love and kindness. That will work more. Thank you. Let us revise the new vocabularies from the chapter. Gleaming means shining. The buttons and the buckles of the policeman was gleaming, twirling, and spin around. 
the policeman twirled his moustache. Muscles gleaming means muscles shining in the sun. Grind means he gave a broad smile to the clever boy. Jingling means ringing. The ice cream man came jingling his cart. Whoop means shouted. At the end of the chapter, the ice cream man whooped at the cleverness of the boy. He shouted loudly for the cleverness of the boy. An ice cream man offering ice cream. Grosso is a person who sells the food item and other household items. Like fruits, vegetables and other household items required. Chef means leaves tied in bundles. The cow eat the green leaves. Sometimes it is love and kindness which makes the people to do things instead of trying to do it forcefully or against their will. So dear students, be kind to animals. Moral of the story is, we should be kind to everyone. Dear students, love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. Thank you.